everybody, it's Erin from j and &E Made. Today we are going to be doing a canvas that's 14 by 20. It's going to have 3 inch sides, so we're going to be using quite a bit of paint so that we can make sure and get everything covered. So we have two cups that we're going to use today, and we'll fill them about two thirds of the way full. We have um, some dark reds to lighter reds, two different oranges. We have a yellow, kind of a peachy coral color. A brownish color and kind of a rust color we're going for a fall effect today so we're going to use all the fall colors something we're trying new instead of silicone we're going to be using the coconut milk in place to try to get some cells to pop up we have our torch that we'll use to make cells pop up and then our spatula that'll help us get the paint to move along here and a stick if we want to end up stirring a little bit of the paint there so we will go ahead and get started with filling in our filling up our cups. All right, so on this first cup, I'm going to go ahead and start with the yellow. Shake it up, make it's, I'm sure it's nice and shaken there. We're just going to pour the yellow into the bottom of the cup, and then I don't have any real plans here. We're just going to kind of keep going. Do kind of a lighter orange here. And I'm going to do a dark red. And all of these paints are mixed one part paint to two parts flow trough. And then we put a little bit of alcohol in each one to kind of get the bubbles and things out of them. Now I'm going to do a darker orange. And because I want them to layer a little bit, I kind of pour, if you can see, onto the side of the cup there so that it doesn't sink down in as much. Now I'm going to do a peachy coral color. Do a little bit of a lighter red. And then I'm going to do the rust color. A little bit in the tan. And then I'm going to end with a little bit of yellow here. So that's the first cup. On this next one, I'm going to start with the darker orange. Just pour it into the bottom there. And then I'm going to go to yellow. Again, I'm pouring off the side of the cup so that they'll layer. Then I'm going to do this rust color. And this peachy coral color here. In most of our paints, we mix the colors ourselves to what we like and what we're looking for. Lighter orange. And the lighter red. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of the coconut milk on the top. Do about five squirts in each one of the cups. Okay, and then I'm going to take the stick and I just like to kind of go, you don't want to stir up the color so you don't want to do it too much, just kind of a little bit back and forth. Just seems to get some cool effects in some of the paintings that we've done. Alright, so we're going to take this first cup 
And you want to try to keep as much paint into the cup when you flip it. There will be a little bit of splatter, but you don't want it all to come out. So you try to do it as quick as possible. And you kind of tap the top. I always push down on the cup a little bit. It seems to help make it stay there. So while that one is settling, I'll go ahead and flip this one. Same thing. And again, we've used quite a bit of paint just because we have the three inch sides, so we will want it to run off quite a bit on the sides there. Now I'm going to use the torch and just go over the paint and you can see some of the cells popping up all over. Coconut milk seems to really be working. I see a lot of cells popping up. sides covered and filled for the three inch border i'm going to take the torch and just go back over it again and see if we can get any other cells to pop up again we have never used the coconut milk before so we're not really sure how this is going to work but i do feel that a lot more cells popped up with the coconut milk than the silicone so we'll just do that and again, this is part of a collage that we are working on um, featuring like the four seasons that we're doing. So this is our fall one. On the last video, if you remember, we did the winter one. It has dried, so we've completed that. We will put a coat of varnish on it when they're all done. And you can see how the sides with the three inch sides that Jeremy builds turn out really awesome and we'll give it a lot of character when it's hanging on the wall. So there's that one. And we're gonna let this one dry and then we will move on to the third one of the collection. So thanks everybody for watching and join us back next time. Bye.